Okay, I'm again calling out the names. Harsh Gupta, is he here? Harsh Gupta? Amit Kumar? Yash? Okay, Yash is here, but it'll take some time. Are you, are you ready? Okay, so the next talk is SQL Alchemy by Yash Mehotra. Putting his talk. So uh, is Saumendra over here? Saumendra present? Oh yes, yeah. So a uh, pretty interesting topic, I mean, for this uh, 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 session. Indian male are still not rapist is his lightning talk topic, so. Okay, I'll again repeat. Indian men are still not rapist. I'm Swamindra and uh, I work as a senior data scientist in Office.com. Uh, so what I originally wanted to do was I wanted to take uh, Bokeh and uh, 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 ggplot for a test drive. So I've been wanting to uh, experiment uh, with grammar of graphics in Python for a long time. And uh, I had written earlier this year a post called uh, Indian men are not rapists. If you would uh, remember, there was a, uh, the whole Nirva episode that happened. Uh, so I wanted to reproduce those graphs using uh, Bokeh and uh, uh, ggplot, both of which implement grammar of graphics in Python. And I wanted to see what the aesthetics are like. Uh, so that was quite disappointing. Bokeh, I think, uh, tends to look more like uh, Excel. Uh, uh, but uh, I did get caught up in the story. And uh, that's what I'm going to look at uh, first. So this is the, so these are the top 10 countries. If you look at the uh, rate of rape, uh, rate of rape in uh, 2010, so that is the number of rapes per one lakh population. And if you look at the top, so this one here, that is just India. And if you look at the top countries, those are Australia, US, UK. And it's not just limited to first world countries. There are Botswana and uh, Nicaragua and other countries like that too. Right, so we are nowhere near the top. Indian men are not particularly <laughs> known for. <laughs> right. So, so I think a small vote of confidence in uh, favor of Indian men. Uh, so the typical rebuttal to that is that most cases are not reported. But that's not a thing that is unique to India. If you look at even uh, the US, UK, their, uh, rep uh, so their official statistics, they admit that I mean, 10 to 20% 20, 20 of their cases are reported. And most cases actually do go unreported. So here the onus of proof does not really lie on Indian men because uh, you know uh, you can't say that most of those things simply do not get reported in India particularly. Because if you look at that top 10 list, there are other third world countries there as well. Right? So it, without further investigation, you can't really uh, hold that uh, accusation at uh, India. Right? Uh, and also there's a definition of rape, and if you go by the way we define rape, it's actually quite conservative. So it's all inclusive. And if you anyway look at it, uh, so the data was available for about 62 nations. Uh, only five have a smaller uh, rate of rape, 14 have equal or smaller, and the mean is like 14.29, and India is just one uh, out of every one lakh population, and the median is kind of six. So you know, we are not particularly bad, and we are pretty much in the bottom. And uh, for once, it feels good to be in the bottom. Feels good to be in the bottom, right? So then I want. So another thing I wanted to look at: how is this data, these statistics, are actually being portrayed in the media? And uh, so we know that Indian media is quite uh, goes for, uh, for sensational, uh, sensational stats. So this particular one is, so I just took one website which has representative stats, and uh, I just uh, went through them uh, carefully. So in this URL, so these are the two key stats that they talk about. So for every 21 minutes, one rape occurs somewhere in India. And so crimes against women, they increased from two, uh, uh, by 70% between 2001 to 2012. So both of these are quite shocking statistics at first glance, but if you really think about it, they don't really factor in the population growth. I mean, that 21 minutes is going to go down to 15 minutes at some point of time, right? But is that really a cause for worry? You need to explore the story there, right? But so that's not the so. But you could argue that you know why take away limelight from uh, issue which is uh, obviously very uh, a serious problem in our society, right? 
the thing is if you put too much of focus in one issue you tend to take away the focus from other more relevant and more pressing issues so which is what happened i mean so i followed followed up the sources the source from which they were quoting the statistics and th and this is what happened so so i'm looking at two different crimes against women so one is rape and the other is kidnapping and abduction of women and girls if you can look at the growth over time between 2000 uh, uh, one to 2013 i added one more year here so here in the rape so you can see that the growth is linear this almost seems exponential right kidnapping and, and abduction of women uh, of girls so in, in in fact in 2001 so the count uh, for rape was about uh, 14 18000 cases uh, per lakh and kidnapping was about 18000 by the end of it as you can see at some point of time kidnapping and abduction of women surpassed the rate of rape and uh, it's much it's a much more significant problem today than rape actually is and nobody is talking about this nobody is looking why this happened right and uh, so right so that's the uh, uh, linear growth versus exponential growth and where should we focus really right uh, so that 55 percent came from rape and you you can look at the stats speak for themselves and uh, so just one last thing uh, so another example is so that was something that uh, increased and here the conviction rate of rapes that fell but this is very typical of the kind of graphs and charts we see in our media so if you can really see the y-axis is manipulated so that you can see such a sharp fall in the conviction rate this chart if you really look at it this is what it actually looks like if you plot it with the full axis right so there is no I mean, if you want to, how does it really vary, right? I mean, there's no story around that. There's no comparison with other countries. There is no, uh, we simply know how, don't know how, uh, how much it fluctuates, right? But, uh, okay, if you put it like this, it looks like a very uh, sensational story. But there's no story there, unless you dig out one, right? So that's all I have to say. Thank you very much.